Mankind's history is like one big jigsaw puzzle. A puzzle whose pieces have been spilling down the back of the sofa and through the floorboards. But every day we're rediscovering these pieces, and each one helps us further understand some of history's most intriguing ancient civilizations, such as the strange predictive powers of the Mayan, the incredible intelligence of the Sumerians, and how the Easter Island folk got those fat ass statues up on a hill. So in order to finish the jigsaw, here's our list of six hidden clues behind mysterious ancient civilizations. At number six, the Mayan Apocalypse Calendar. The seven Mayan prophecies foretold by the Mayan people claimed that a series of devastating events would occur to humanity beginning in 1999 and ending with Earth's destruction on December 21st, 2012. They spoke of a time without time, a change in the behavior of humanity and the destruction of all things unless man learned to alter his ways. Now, obviously, this didn't happen, so what were the Mayans getting at? Well, December 21st actually represented the end of a Mayan Bakhtun, which is a time period in the Mesoamerican calendar. And if we'd done our homework, we'd have known that they were pretty dramatic when it came to describing things, as they referred to December 21st as the ending of a world age. We know this because in May 2012, just a few months before supposed global annihilation, archaeologists discovered a series of Maya astronomical tables which plotted the movement of the moon and the earth way past 2012, with some Mayan calendars even predicting events and commemorations taking place in the year 4772. Furthermore, all of these predictions of death and destruction weren't meant as unavoidable events more so consequences which man would face if we didn't start respecting ourselves, each other, and the world around us. So the Mayans weren't predicting for the apocalypse, and nor could they predict the future. They were just organizing their diary for the next few millennia and giving out self-help tips. At 5. The Sea Peoples the ancient kingdoms of Egypt, Greece, and the Mycenaeans were some of the most influential civilizations in human history, with many of their teachings and discoveries forming the basis of our modern scientific, religious, and philosophical ideas. But between 1200 and 1000 AD, these and many other Mediterranean nations suffered a brutal dark age which caused their civilizations to collapse. And while many factors are considered to have contributed to the situation, one of the most fascinating is the constant attacks and disruption wrought upon coastal cities by the mass movement of the Sea Peoples. We have no idea where the Sea Peoples came from, what their motives were, nor what happened to them, with various theories claiming they were former soldiers who turned to piracy, refugees from natural disasters, or they were part of a gigantic migratory group from a previously undocumented nation. There are many purported references to this group, found in a number of historical documents, but the most promising could be the infamous Linear A and B tablets of B laws. The language on Linear B tablets has been mostly deciphered, and does mention this strange increase in slave raiding and migration. Yet, Linear A remains a mystery, but if we could decipher it, perhaps we'd find out who the Sea Peoples really were and why they were so mean. At 4. The Nazca Poquillos The Nazca civilization existed in modern-day Peru between 100 BC and 800 AD, and this intriguing society seemed strangely advanced considering when and where they lived. Somehow, these people were able to exist in the middle of a desert, for nearly a thousand years, constructing both the astonishing city of Kawachi and the mysterious Nazca lines in the desert, lines whose patterns were only visible from the sky. These lines puzzled historians ever since the 1930s, as did a series of spiralized holes in the ground called puquios, 
But while the Nazca lines had a simple explanation, having been made using simple wooden stakes and rope, the Pukios holes were a little more perplexing. In 2016, thanks to a combination of aerial photography and good old-fashioned spelunking, archaeologists found clues which indicated the purpose of the Nazca Pukios. They were all part of a giant, super-advanced irrigation network. The Nazca were far more advanced than anyone had ever thought. Pukios holes are the visible parts of a complex hydraulic system which draws water from deep beneath the desert. And it turns out that's how the Nazcas were able to survive in an extremely hostile area. And notice I said it draws water, present tense. Because even though much of the original equipment is gone, the Nazca Pukios still perform their function to this very day. But before you get too impressed, just remember that the Nazca's mysterious disappearance was found to have been caused by their own destructive deforestation to make way for their farming technology. And this destroyed the soil's fertility, forcing their people from the land. I guess they were still pretty smart anyways, though. And you just wonder what incredible technology might we find that the Nazca people have left behind. 3. The Kofels Event the Sumerian people of southern Mesopotamia were one if not the very first examples of civilized society here on Earth. Yet we still have a lot of questions about where these people came from, where their language was derived from, and where their genetic descendants are today. One of the most fascinating things about the Sumerians is just how technologically sophisticated this civilization seemed to be. But we didn't know just how superior they were until we found a small clay tablet in Iraq, which managed to solve a mysterious event which took place over a thousand miles away. The Kofels landslide was a shattering geological event which occurred in the Austrian Alps 9,800 years ago, near the village of Kofels. But for thousands of years, nobody knew exactly what had caused such a catastrophic rock slide, as there neither is nor ever has been an active volcano here, and there's also no evidence of an impact site to indicate a meteor strike. But the explanation for this event's cause came from the aforementioned circular clay tablet which was found on the site of Nineveh, the ancient capital of Assyria. The tablet was made 5,500 years ago and depicted a series of constellations, but it was also covered in indecipherable cuneiform script which was the Sumerians' picture-based writing system. For years, the tablet's meaning remained a mystery, until in 2008, two scientists, Alan Bond and Mark Hemsell, used a computer program to crack the cuneiform code. They revealed that the tablet was an astronomer's notebook, which detailed the events of the sky before the dawn of June 29, 3123 BC. And this record showed a large object traveling on a trajectory which would have put it on a path towards Kofels, Austria. The object's low trajectory now explains why there was no impact crater, as it's now thought the rock first hit a mountain on the way by. And so, thanks to the inexplicably advanced observations of the Sumerian people, we know why an Austrian mountain looks a little weird. At 2. Easter Island Intrigue In the centuries since the West first gazed upon Easter Island's Moai statues, archaeologists have been confused over how the relatively primitive Rapa Nui people moved these big hunks of rock. We know that they're meant to be depictions of long-dead tribal leaders, but how did they shift them into place? Did they grease them up real good like the Egyptians? Was another more advanced South American tribe in on the action? Or is there a more paranormal explanation at play? For years we had no idea, because these giant monolithic figures with giant heads and chunky tummies weigh about 12 tons each. And since they were made between 1250 and 1500 AD, surely there has to be an extraordinary explanation we're missing here? Or not? Because in 2012, we realized those round bellies weren't just an ancient form of fat-shaming their dead relatives. They had a purpose, which was to help the Rapa Nui rock the statues back and forth until they were pulled into place by strong men with rope. So I hope you'll remember this the next time you hear someone say, 
something happened to me last night, it must have been aliens. Because now we know, when someone blames E.T., it's often just some really strong guys with lubricant and rope. And at number one, Stonehenge. Here's another mysterious bunch of old-timey rocks for you. And we still don't know exactly how the Stone Age people of southern Britain built this astonishing rock formation either. Stonehenge predates the Easter Island statues by at least three millennia, possibly four. So if the Rapa Nui struggled to get those stones up, how the heck did prehistoric Englishmen? Were they drunk? The English are strong when they're drunk, which is always. So we must, and should always, fear them. Today we're still confused as to exactly how Stonehenge was constructed. But for a long time we also didn't know what it was for and why it was built in the middle of nowhere. So, archaeologists went digging around. And then we discovered two things. First of all, that there's a buttload of bones in the ground, so it's almost certainly a ritual burial site. And second, that it's not in the middle of nowhere. It's actually spitting distance away from the largest Stone Age settlement ever found in Britain, which is something we only found out recently. So now, Stonehenge is about as mysterious as seeing Big Ben stuck in the middle of London, and in about 20 years' time, when all the other clocks with hands have gone extinct, the children of millennials will gop up at the Elizabeth Tower and wonder what the heck we used that strange giant monument for. And that's our list. But if you want more exquisite historical mysteries, then take a bite out of our recent video on seven pieces of lost technology that could change humanity. The Romans had a kind of contraceptive ketchup, don't you know?